Hey everyone, so this will be a speed test comparison here between the brand new 2021 Amazon Fire HD 10 and then the HD 10 Plus is on the left. So this is the normal 10, this is the HD 10 Plus here. Uh, so first, a few differences, there's nothing too big. Uh, but this has 3 gigabytes of RAM, this will have 4, so this has one more gigabyte of RAM. This costs $30 more, at least in the US, so this is 180 this is 150 both of these are running on the same MediaTek processor. Uh, both of these can be expanded, their storage expanded, up to one terabyte or up to by a terabyte in their micro SD card slot. Both of these have 32 gigabytes of storage on board though. Uh, not all that of course is usable. Uh, then you can also get a 64 gigabyte version if you want. Both of these have the ads on them. I did not pay extra to get rid of that. They don't bother me whatsoever. This one will also give you wireless charging, the plus version. The non plus version does not give you wireless charging. Uh, besides from that, they're basically the same. So really the only big difference here is going to be this has three gigs of RAM, this has four. That's the that's the big main difference here. Uh, that is what is going to affect performance a little bit, as we'll see. Uh, maybe we'll see. We'll see how much of a difference it actually makes in this video here. Uh, one more difference is that the plus comes in only slate, which is like a gray, and then the non plus the normal just the hd10 comes in four different colors and i have the green one not that that makes any difference whatsoever uh, so first thing before we actually start this speed test is i wanted to show you guys uh this is from two days ago today's the 30th this was from the 28th i did a geekbench 5 test so you can see on the plus version it had 304 compared to the 302 so the same this is essentially the same on both of them for the single core score. But now the difference is going to be in the multi-core. That is at almost, this is at almost 1200. This is at a little bit over a thousand. So this is over uh, over a hundred, well, it's actually 194 more points on that multi-core score. Uh, so that's of course is because of the RAM, since this has more RAM. So they're 3.72 compared to 2.73. So one more gigabyte of RAM. Of course, not all of it is usable out of the three or the four. Both of these have that MediaTek 8183. Let's see there. All right, let's get out of this. Um, both, of these, both of these can do multitasking as well, which is really cool, which you cannot do on the 2019 version of the HD10, nor can you do it on the 2020 version of the HD8 or HD8 Plus. Uh, that is a brand new feature exclusive on Amazon's uh, platform their tablets on these two right here first we're going to go into the browser here so one two three all right we'll just go to two different websites first would be pokemon.com and we'll do some web browsing here let's see whoa uh, let me tell you, these screens are definitely very touch sensitive. Like you don't even think you're touching it, and it will, and and you are touching it. It'll change. One, two, three for the Pokédex. I mean, like you just hover your finger above it, and it seems like it it thinks you're touching it. It's crazy sometimes. Okay, so that is very good. Three. Uh, the colors on these are very good. They're very close to my A7, uh, the Samsung Tab A7, which is a bit more money. Uh, they're both very good. I mean, of course, they're the same screen on these, uh, but they're very, very good looking. So you see on this, they're basically the same. And there's not enough of a difference to actually matter here. Next, we'll go to bestbuy.com, which is a bit of a heavier website, so to speak. Uh, both of these histories were cleared out before making this video, and I'm on the same Wi-Fi. And, of course, they're right next to each other here. Um, actually, this one is doing a little bit faster, just like with the Pokemon website, which is kind of crazy. I'm going to type in here Garmin Watch or Farming Watch for some reason. So both of these do have the swipe as well. Like I do believe most Android devices have these days, if not all of them. One, two, three. Uh, you can get the Google Play Store on these tablets as well. 
I don't know which one is faster there. Uh, they're pretty much the same. Uh, you can't get the Google Play Store, just go to my channel. I made a video of it a few days ago on how, on how to do so. One, two, three. And because I, because this is a bit of a heavy website, this one's going to be a hair bit faster. And this is where that RAM's going to help a little bit. You know, especially help when you're trying to multitask here. And keep apps open. And see, I mean, it beats about a split hair. Again, it might just be, it just gained the Wi-Fi a little bit better than this one is. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and get out of that. Next, let's go to YouTube. All right, about the same. We're just gonna do a quick search. We're not actually gonna listen to the speakers. One, two, three. Yeah. And we'll keep this open. All right, now let's get into some game opening here. So we're going to Asphalt 8. One, two, three. Now this, we might see a bit of difference here with game opening. Because again, these are going to be heavier applications than your normal general web browser is. But let's see how much. So they're talking, what, maybe two seconds faster there? some reason that shop's having issues. Oh, yep, there we go. There we go. Go into the cars here. All right. Let's go ahead and get out of that. Okay, go back to, to this mode here. And again, I do want to say once more, these screens are actually really nice. They're 1080p or 1080, uh, but they're they're actually really nice screens. They're not bad. Not as good as, say, like the Samsung Tab uh, S7 or SM Plus, of course. Uh, but that's way different, way more money. Uh, but they're, they're pretty much just as good as the Samsung Tab a7 is though the one that's normally 230 bucks. Now it's going to some PUBG Mobile one two three, and at the end of this video here, we will of course go back into each of these apps and we'll see how well each of these loads or how well they kept the apps open, or if they have to reload or not. So again, the plus is winning. Again, that is due to the more RAM. And of course, this one's going to do other things. Uh, it's a problem when you're trying to do games here is that they like to update and whatnot all the time. All right, then since that one's doing whatever it's doing here, I just want to show off the settings real fast here. So you see it, it is in balanced and medium frame rate. I'll be back when, once this one's done doing whatever it's doing. I don't know why it's doing this. They both were updated and everything else at the same time the other day. All right, so that did its thing, and you can see this is also imbalanced and medium, and this is the the non plus, as you can see there, it is the green one, that is still the plus. The one with the case on is still the plus. So it's the same exact graphic settings. It just takes a moment longer to get into the game. Get that going back up there. 
All right, next we'll go into Google Play Store here. So one, two, three. Uh, this is actually a little bit faster. Trying to find, of course they have two different things, uh -huh. Hit that. I'm actually surprised this is loading faster. Alrighty. And we'll do just a few more random ones here. So we'll do like the weather. This is actually faster. And yes, I have gone into the weather on both of these before. Uh, the plus, or the non plus is actually winning. And one more. So that is weird. And right, I'll go back into each application here. So not reloaded. This is going to reload. And again, this is where that RAM is going to come in handy. Even though this does have 3 gigs, which is more than the 2019 version. Uh, still less than what this one has. And we have a bunch of stuff open here. So, not reloaded. Not sure what this one's doing. There we go. Uh, so that's not reloaded either. It just took it a moment longer to do what it wanted to, to do there. Asphalt 8. Ooh, I thought that was going to reload at first. But not reloaded. And this is going to reload. All right, now we'll go back into PUBG. So again, not, not reloaded. It was loading, but it wasn't actually, I uh, didn't actually have to actually reload it. Not do a full reload at least. So then this one is reloading again. All right, back into Google Play Store. Both of these are good. Both of them are good on the weather app. Both are good on the clock app. Both are good on the calendar app. And both are good on the calculator app. So there you guys go. Uh, one more thing I want to show off here. I'm going to get rid of a few of these. So let's go ahead and get rid of okay, let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. Alright, so keep that open. And again, you guys can multitask on this. So you when you're if you hit the square there, you hit this little icon. And then you hit split screen. Then whatever app you're on there will split the screen. Then you can choose whatever other app you want on the bottom there. And then you can move this back and forth. Make one bigger, one smaller. And again, the show you can do it on this one too. And then two of these do go horizontal mode as well. So that is just really cool. I do like that quite a bit. And you can change it up if you want to. And it does it quite well. Again, if you're going to be doing a lot of that, that type of multitasking, you'll prob probably want the 4 gigabytes of RAM, especially to future-proof yourself a bit more there. Uh, yeah, so you guys let me know you think it's worth spending the extra $30 to get the Plus? Or are you guys just going to get the non-Plus version and save yourself $30, at least in the U.S.? If you guys live in a different country besides the U.S., let me know how much yours cost. Uh, so I know these are, again, $150 and $180, which really is not bad for a tablet. Uh, yeah, so let me know what you guys think. What are your comments? What are your thoughts on both these devices? I do think they are good. Again, you can get the Google Play Store on them. Just know there are some apps you cannot actually download on Amazon devices. Uh, for instance, OfferUp, if you guys ever use that, uh, that is not available on these devices. Whereas on like my A7 from Samsung or my S7 Plus from Samsung, uh, you can get everything. Uh, and again, if you guys want to know 
if there is a certain app on the Google Play Store, just drop me a comment below and I'll see, I'll look it up for you and see if you can, can get it or not. I say about 98% of apps seem to be on here. Almost every app I've ever looked up, except for OfferUp and Pokemon Masters has not been on here. Everything else has been on here. So, you know, see, you can also play Roblox. Uh, if you guys want to see some gameplay of that, just go to my gaming channel. I uploaded a video of it yesterday. All right, guys, thank you all very much for watching. Can leave me a comment on which one you think is better, or are you going to just pay a bit more money and say get a Samsung or an iPad, uh, Apple iPad? All right, guys, thank you all very much for watching. As always, I do appreciate you. I'll see you guys next time. Hope you have a good one. Goodbye.